Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ella and my channel is Mary Ella's This and That. Um, today we're going to do some cooking. We're going to do easy chicken tortilla soup. So let's get started. Okay guys, in this soup you're going to need a tablespoon of oil, a medium onion, four minced cloves of garlic, four cups of chicken broth, two cans of fire roasted tomatoes with the juice, one pound of chicken, one can of black beans drained and rinsed, one can of corn drained, one can of green chilies, one four ounce can of green chilies, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of chili powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne, and salt and pepper to taste. You're going to need, um, this is optional, you're going to need some lime juice, the juice of a half a lime, if you want it. Okay, let's get started. in a soup pot but since it's just me i'm just using my regular pot you're going to saute one medium onion chopped up now the chicken you can use any kind of chicken you have. Um, like, I had a whole chicken the other day and I roasted it in the oven. So, I'm using my leftover chicken from the other day. Um, you could use a rotisserie chicken. Um, you can use chicken breast, chicken thighs. It doesn't matter what kind of chicken you use. Okay, I'll bring you back when my pan gets hot. Okay, guys, my pan is hot. We're going to add the onions and saute, saute them for five to seven minutes, just until they get a little bit of color on them. My kitchen smells like a Mexican restaurant. I just uh, grounded my uh, cumin seeds because I like fresh ground cumin. It uh, it tastes so much better than the store bought dried. It just tastes better when you fresh grind your own cumin seeds. I was going to double this recipe today. But I decided that after I looked in my freezer, I don't have room to freeze any right now. So I decided to wait until later on to make another batch and freeze when I got some room in my freezer. Okay, I'll bring you all back when these onions are ready for the next step. Okay, guys, now it's time to add the garlic. And you cook the garlic about 30 seconds to a minute.
Now what I like to do is I like to add my seasonings in now to get them a little toasty. So that's one teaspoon of chili powder. One teaspoon of ground cumin. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. And an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Okay, now you dump your black beans and your corn in. Give that a stir around to get those two things coated in some of that flavoring. Then you're going to dump in your tomatoes with the juice. And I bought, instead of buying the can of green chilies, I bought the Rotel with green chilies. But I did buy the fire roasted, fire roasted diced tomatoes and green chilies. And then I bought the uh, fire roasted diced tomatoes. Then you add your four cups. This is chicken bone broth. But you can use chicken broth, beet, bouillon, whatever you got. And then you add your chicken. And my chicken's still frozen. I forgot to take it out last night. So it's still frozen. Oh, it smells amazing in here, guys. It's really smelling good. Now, if you're doing this with raw chicken, you're going to want to bring this up to a boil and boil it until... Boil it on medium until your chicken gets done and then you take your chicken out and shred it up or dice it up however you like it um but because my chicken's already cooked i'm going to bring this up to a boil 
put a lid on it, half a jar, and let it simmer for about um, 25 minutes to a half hour. And then I'll bring you guys back. And when it's done, and I'll show you what you can top it with. And we'll have um, a taste test. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I have a question. Anybody else got a spice cupboard like this one? I mean, look at all that, all them spices. But I like flavor in my food. I don't like bland food, so I have just about a little bit of everything. So do you, is it, you think I have, I'm a restaurant or something with all these spices, but I like to cook. That's what I can say. And I don't like bland food. Leave me a comment if you all, what your uh, spice cupboard looks like. If it's stocked or if you just use salt and pepper. Because for a long time, that's what my mom used. My mom never added seasoning to nothing. She just added salt and pepper. Everything was salt and pepper. No garlic, no onion powder, no nothing. Just salt and pepper. So, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you got a recipe that you want me to try or something too. Because I'll give anything a try. That's how I learned to make this soup. Is because someone told me about it and I said, oh, that sounds good. So, I come home and I made it. All right, I'll bring you back when my soup is done. Okay, guys, it's been about a half hour, and the soup is done. Turn you around so you can see it. And it's hot. <laughs> um, I already did a taste test. It did. I did have to add some salt to it, but I think that's because... Everything I had was low sodium. The rotel, the tomatoes, the corn. I even think the beans were low sodium. So, yeah, it. I had to add salt to it. I did not add no black pepper for the simple fact being that eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper made this a little spicy. It kind of burns in the back of your throat so if you don't like that you can leave it out now i'm gonna dip us dip me up a bowl now with this when you when you after you dip up the bowl and look at this I must have had a ton of chicken. Didn't realize it. Because there is so much chicken in here. But see what it looks like? It looks so good. It smells delicious. Now, for toppings, you can use... Tortilla strips or chips, whichever one you have. Um, shredded cheese, sour cream, green onion, cilantro, avocado. Actually, you can type, type, uh, top it with whatever you want. And I forgot to get the shredded cheese out. So I'm going to top mine with a little bit of shredded cheese. Stop making a mess, Mary. 
Oh well. Well, it fell on the floor the dog will get. I'm surprised he ain't in here. Bacon. And some sour cream. Some green onion. Do y'all like the the leaves and the white part of the green onion or just the leaves? Because I like the whole green onion. And then what I do is, you know those mini sweet uh, peppers? I buy those. Instead of buying large peppers, the multicolored large peppers, I just buy a bag of those sweet minis. Because it's just me. So I don't need, you know, big old peppers. And I get more meals out of the small bag. And then, there you go. This is what my bowl of soup looks like. But like I said, you can top yours any way you want. I forgot the tortilla strips. It ain't tortilla soup if you don't have this tortilla strips or the chips. Turn y'all around and get you up here. Whoo, this is hot. Mmm. That flavors taste like Mexico in a bowl. It is so good. So, y'all let me know. What do you like to cook? What is your favorite type of food? Because actually, I don't have a favorite type. I like all types of food. I just like food in general. But, I do like to cook. So, let me know what you like to eat. If you got something good that you want me to try, let me know. I'll give it a, I'll give it a try. Make a video of it. Of me trying it. So, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to eat my bowl of soup. And... After that, I got to give the hound dog a bath. He's been outside playing in the dirt. So, he has to have a bath, this big old horse. One thing about it, though, he loves to take a bath. He sees me because I give him a bath in Don Dish. <coughs> yeah, there's that pepper. Uh-huh. There's that cayenne pepper. It got me. Um, but, yeah, he sees me get the Dawn dish soap bottle and head to the bathroom. And he's already in the bath. He flies by me in the bathtub, sitting and waiting for me to turn the water on. He's in there before I am. It's like, okay, dog. It's like, give me, give me time. So, on that note... I will see you all the next time. You all have a good day. And remember, don't let anybody steal your sunshine or your smile. Have a good day. Bye-bye.